Welcome back. Hey, here's something I'm very excited about in functional medicine that you really do not see in 20th century medicine or corporate medicine, but you're finding it pop up now in the 21st century medicine, and that's the idea of the community. Remember, I'm well, I'm 63. I remember growing up, coming together every night at home with dinner. My mom, my dad were at the dinner table. My sisters were at the table. We talked about what happened at school that day. They talked a little bit about what happened at work or in their circles. And of course, the nitty gritty, they didn't share with us kids, but we all came together. We talked about things. We shared things. We talked about our goals. And all of a sudden, something happened. And the family stopped eating together. Oftentimes, spouses don't eat their meals together, but in isolation, going to or from work or at work or with a business partner and not with the spouse. And we've started losing the sense of this community. We don't get together with families like we used to when I was growing up. Uh, and so one of the things we're learning in functional medicine is the community has great power. And one of the ways we see that is our clinic, we started in March, we started bringing people in on an individual basis. So every time you and I met, it was in the exam room like here, all by ourselves, and you never saw anybody else because our lobbies, we're on time seeing people, so we don't have 20 people sitting in that lobby waiting for the next visit. You come in, you get right in, you leave, and the next person comes in, gets right in. So it's all individual based. And what we've learned from our other functional medicine docs is as we got bigger, we can start offering classes, building a community with people. And at first people panic thinking a class, what the heck is that? Well, basically we bring a community together two or three people to do the common things, like one of the things is the orientation on our program, tell you what's gonna happen down the road. We come together as a community, do that, and then a couple of weeks later, you and I get back together on a private individual session to go over that nitty gritty medical stuff that nobody else needs to know anything about. And then we come back for another class and do things in a group, and then we come back for another individual session. And you know what? The classes are doing much better. People are getting well or faster, and just so much improvement. And what ends up happening in that community, you start meeting people, becoming friends with these people, and they start teaching you things, and you start teaching them things besides us teaching. And the other thing that happens is you start seeing improvement with, with uh, Joe or Mary, and you say, if, if I can see them getting better, I'm going to do the same thing. And so you start competing with each other and supporting each other. So we've learned that the, the, the community is something we've got to reestablish in our society. Otherwise, we're going to be a lot of individuals, and we're going to be uh, swarming all over the place and getting nowhere. And the community uh, helps with healing. It helps with nurturing. It helps with education. And it helps just to protect you. The community is a very powerful thing that we see in functional medicine and we try to bring you into our community. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you just walking through the doors doesn't automatically put you in our community. I have to present the programs to you to where it's acceptable and you're willing to work on it and you have to present yourself as one who wants to jump in the community and take part of it before we work together. This is not a regular medical clinic where you come in, write a check, and I write a prescription. No, we're inviting you into our community, and we're asking you to invite us into your community. And when these communities come together, it's powerful, powerful stuff. Thank you.